Teachers and other union workers are marching to the state capitol at this hour in what they've dubbed the rally for the middle class. Care 11's John Croman joins us live from the capitol now with more. John? We had thousands of people, teachers, people from nonprofits, other government unions here reacting against cuts to pay, cuts to jobs, and efforts to strip their bargaining power, all tied to bills here at the capitol that are aimed at trying to rein in the size of government in the long run. And there's a reason they decided today, March 4th. Today's march is timed with the 43rd anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination in Memphis, where he went to lend support to striking AFSCME union sanitation workers. That's where he delivered the line, I may not get there with you, but I want you to know we as a people will get to the promised land. But from the same speech, if I do not stop to help the sanitation workers, what will happen to them? That's the question. I was on the streets of Boston working with kids that were on the streets before they came into our shelter. So I know firsthand the kind of dedication that the work that you do requires of you day after day. And Governor Dayton, in a rally with social work students at the Capitol, again criticized Republicans for rejecting the idea of raising taxes on the state's highest earners to spare cutbacks in health and human services. It's, it's really un-Minnesotan. We're, we're better than that. I know, I know Minnesota. I know we're better than that. As for the bills attempting to strip collective bargaining and striking power from teachers and other government workers, Dayton says those need to be separated from budget bills. You know, again, that's why I want the policy uh, issues taken out of the budget bills so we can have policy discussions where we should be discussing policy and have budget discussions where we should be discussing budget. Dad, I don't mind having us pay for our benefits, but don't take away our right to come to the table together. I think to carry the budget on the backs of the vulnerable populations, senior citizens, pregnant women, single mothers, I think is unfair and unjust and I'm lending. Now those are a couple of teachers that we met on the march just a few minutes ago here at the Capitol. In a few minutes we'll hear from Matthew Little. He's a longtime civil rights leader in uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. He actually organized a group of people that went over to Washington in 1963 for the March on Washington for the I Have a Dream speech by Martin Luther King. Of course, Republicans do not view this as a civil rights issue. They see shrinking government as something we need to do in order to spur job growth in the private sector, which is uh, something that's very very important to everyone. Back to you, Julie. All right. Thank you, John.